Hello world and welcome. Today I will talk about a really interesting topic. I'm using NeuroProfit to find some anomalies in a time series data. This is very interesting in um, things like um, predictive maintenance, um, where animal detection is used to yeah, find as early as possible some anomalies. Yeah, my name is Harris and let's get started. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button or leave a like comment there. First of all, I'm importing all the required libraries like NeuroProfit, Pandas, NumPy, Plotly and so on. Then I'm loading the data, which means I'm loading um, one um, data which was um, collected from some sensors. I have um, um, data frame um, with some normal data. And then I am um, I use that to also put for um, peaks, some kind of anomalies in the signal. So I'm using two um, signals, which I will show you here. Um, I have an about um, blue original signal and the red is the same signal, but with four peaks, which I was inserted in the signal to make to simulate the anomalies actually. Then you can also plot the, the signal in, uh, with the power spectral density and the frequency spectrum, which means here you have the time series data and the right the frequency spectrum. Then you can see peaks run about one or two hertz, then 15 and 28 hertz. The same I, I was doing with um, a signal with the anomalies. Then um, you can also see that the um, frequency spectrum looks a little bit different, which you can see here. When you compare them, you can see the red one is the um, signal with the uh, anomalies. Then you can see it's a little bit different, like the original signal. Then I'm doing some EDA to um, plot everything, the signal with and his diagram. You can see it's going from 6 to 11, runabout. In the PUX plot, you can see the um, there are small outliners here a little bit going on. And then you can plot everything again. As I have the signal here with um, rolling mean. Um, and then you have the standard deviation below uh, where you can see if the standard deviation goes up, which means there is some movement going on. Uh, keep it in your mind. Then I'm training the neural profit here with um, the, um, I put only one forecast, which means I'm using only one uh, prediction or forecasting here. LX means I'm going only seven days back because in it's in a time series data is based on uh, days. Number of hidden layers I put to two and number of hidden layers in the uh, R net is uh, on four. So I'm using Rnet in this case as well. And the number of epochs I put only for this case for a small example to 10, but you can of course increase it to make your model a little bit better accurate as well. Then I'm splitting um, the training and test data 20% to the test. Then I'm um, training everything. Then you can see the mean absolute error and the mean, uh, the root mean square error as well, which looks actually really good. Then you can save and load the model here with pickle, saving and loading everything. Then I'm doing the first prediction and also with training and test data. Then I'm plotting the matrix above. You can see uh, the, um, it's going down, the loss is going down because we have time series data, so we are talking only about losses. I'm calculating the anomalies with the um, delta from um, y hat 1 and y. Then I can calculate it's R about 1, which means it's actually really good. Then I'm telling the model or the anomaly detection if the delta from um, the original signal and the predicted signal is higher than four, it's like a threshold, then you are talking about anomalies. You can plot everything here. You can see the original data and the um, um, forecast. 
and you can really see here um, you can uh, really see here um, some anomalies and um, if you are plotting also the original data then um, you have the training and the test prediction here in the red you have the training data frame and the test data frame it looks pretty good and there are the red dots are the anomalies which we are find here um, you can also uh, plot everything with the plot function from um, the neural profit here is the region data the black one and the blue one is the um, Y hat, so the prediction, you can also plot the parameters, so like the trend within the years, the um, uh, weeks and so on. And yeah, I would say the prediction looks really good after 10 hour box. And yeah, thanks for watching um, and see you soon.